you're you're talking about winding up your recording career. Mm-hmm. Um, we hope that maybe you'll you'll reconsider and still continue to do a few little things uh, along the way. Yeah. Um, is is there anything that you you still wish that you might do or that you wish that you would have done? Are you happy with what you've with what you've been able to accomplish? Oh boy, yeah. I think that I mean, there's always some things you wish you'd, you'd gone, like. Really, the the big the big league recording companies are over in Europe, and I often wondered if I'd have ever ever had a chance to go to Europe to work with them. If 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 I had if I would have been able to to mm-hmm. sort of make a mark there or or been able to handle that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But that's no altogether. I th- I think I've had I've had a great ride. You know, yeah. I've met so many people. There's so many stories. I mean, we've only just scratch the surface and, and people that I've worked with over the years, you know, you know, Lois Marshall and Ben Hapner and, and some of the great Leontine Price and, and these people, you know, there was a parade of people through Thompson Hall when we used to do those Sunday afternoon broadcasts all the time. Uh, no, I've, 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 had, I've had a great time. I, I don't, I don't have any regrets. I can't imagine the music world in Canada um, without you having been part of it. I mean, it's been an amazing thing, and you've um, made an enormous contribution on on many levels, as you say, to to the church uh, with your mm-hmm. with your ongoing. Are are you still Salvationist? Uh, I'd have to say right now we're sort of. Uh dual citizenship because we essentially we we we've become anglicanized mm-hmm. <laughs> we're, we're we go to St. John's in Alora mm-hmm. and we're we're regulars there but we still we still keep contact with our friends in Toronto in mm-hmm. fact we have a Monday night bible study that we go to every every mm-hmm. week mm-hmm. and my children are still involved in, in Toronto so mm-hmm. we we get in once in a while for that sort of thing but Ninety percent of the time, we're at, we're at St. John's now. It's just the only the only downside is you, is you end up with two boxes of envelopes. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> there is that, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. But it's it's hard because I mean my family goes back to the very very beginning days of of the Salvation Army. I had relatives that were that stood with William Booth in in the early days in the East End of London. And but at the same time, I've I've been a closet Anglican for years and years. So I, once I got exposed to the Anglican liturgy and the Anglican music of, of of the liturgy, it's it's just so meaningful, you know. So it's it's yeah. I, I, as I say, we're we're dual citizens. Mm. Yeah. You'll you'll never never lose the one, but I'm really enjoying the other. You know? mm-hmm. But your faith is pretty important to you. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and es- especially now with with health con- concerns, you know. Yeah. So. Ed, this has been a, um, a real pleasure for me. I have to tell mm-hmm. you, I was looking forward to doing this interview with you, and um, and thought quite a bit about what I wanted to ask you and so forth. Uh, you've given us a tremendous amount, mm. um, and uh, on behalf of whoever is going to be hearing this conversation, I want to thank you for uh, thank, f- thank for, you the, for your patience. Uh, it's it's been it's been a great experience. Thank you for your for yeah. the years and years of well, of wonderful work that you've done. We we'll spend the next two year, two or three days thinking I should have told them about that. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, that happens yeah. well. That's yeah. right. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you.